Good evening. Tonight's big story is an absolute bombshell involving former state representative David Stringer. Newly released documents reveal investigators accused him of paying for sex with underage boys back in the 80s. Of course, Stringer has been a controversial figure here for years. The 12 News I team first learning about some of his questionable conduct more than two years ago. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick joins us here in Studio 12A with the facts emerging from the House Ethics Committee's investigation. Bram? These documents are shocking. They are police and court records that former Republican Representative David Stringer didn't want you to see. Charges that the man teenage boys knew as Mr. Dave paid them for sex. One of those boys, police reports say, was mentally disabled. We do want to warn you, some of the details in these reports are graphic. The man they called Mr. Dave would cruise Baltimore parks in the early 80s looking for boys. These handwritten reports by Baltimore cops tell a very disturbing story, accusing a roughly 35-year-old David Stringer of asking teenage boys if they wanted to have sex. Quote, once inside Stringer's apartment, they went to the bedroom where Stringer performed a sex act on them and asked them to do it to him. The boys were given $10 apiece and they left. The police reports are part of 400 pages of documents Arizona House investigators compiled on the now 71-year-old David Stringer. Their release Friday coming less than 24 hours after the Prescott Republican quit his House seat to avoid likely expulsion. It has been an impediment to the good working order of the place and I'm hopeful that it won't ho happen again. Documents show Stringer was charged with eight sex offenses against children, but for reasons that can't be explained. Records indicate he served only five years of probation and was sent to a clinic for people with sexual disorders. His criminal record was expunged. So when Stringer moved to Arizona years later, he was able to pass background checks. He obtained a license to practice law and a fingerprint clearance card to teach children. Stringer attorney Carmen Chanel said the charges were false. They're mere allegations um, that they're false. It was a false arrest. Um, he went through the court system um, that gave him probation before judgment. In other words, there was no criminal conviction. There are two troubling footnotes to the Stringer case. The presiding judge, one of Maryland's leading jurists, would commit suicide 20 years later. He was accused of being a pedophile before and after he died. Here in Arizona, House investigators also found that one of Stringer's alleged victims would become a sex offender himself. Let's send it back to you.